We just launched into a table at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. We're going to be playing against a robot, so I want to make sure to secure my pairs because those tiles could be in their hands right now. And when they discard, they tend to discard whatever tile was just picked. So if you secure your pairs, you may get what you need. So we're going to arrange our tiles by clicking on dots and bams so they go to the bottom rack and I'll put cracks on top with winds and dragons and my flowers. Then I sort my tiles. That gives me the lay of the land. One so bam. we're ready to go. One bam. Might as well discard. One bamboo. One bam. Now that one I could have used. One, two, three, two, three, four, two, four, six, eight. A year hand, maybe. Eight Let's see. I wish I had kept that, although we have other tiles here. Let's see. Let's get rid of the I'm thinking two four six eight down here maybe. Two four six eight. Let's get rid of the one since there's one a pair out do. there. In hindsight, I should have kept that one to play maybe a year hand with news and uh, the nines and twos, but I have no white dragons. Okay, let's pass on that. So the the robot is not going to play defensively. Let's let's see north and south. Okay, we've got all these dragons. I'm kind of thinking we should play maybe a year hand with the dragons. We could do 2019 in cracks with the dragons. So let's see what shakes out with this other hand. Okay, there's a seven. So I'm thinking 2468 on the bottom, 2468 and 2019 on top. So I could have used that one BAM for my 2019 and BAMs. So I really should have kept that one BAM. Try not to feel the pressure of discarding like I did. Okay, there's another 2019 potential. So we do have two, four, six, eight. Let's get rid of the three. Three characters. So two, four, six, eight potential here. There's also six, seven, eight, nine potential here. Let's get rid of the three next. I would not claim a discard at the moment because I do not know what hand I'm playing yet. We're in between two, four, six, eight or six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe the five can go, actually. Seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, six, eight, nine. And we do have a lot of two, four, six, eight. I was thinking maybe even the two, a two, four, six, eight pair hand. Two, four, six, eight Sound pair eight. hand. That is a possibility. And when you play against a robot, you have the whole game because the robot will not declare any winning hands. So you're basically just trying to play your own two hands and you are picking and discarding and acting based on what is being discarded by the robot. So you have the ability to just really focus on your own hands and the discards and then what you're given by the wall. So if you're new to the game, playing against a robot is a really great way to learn the ropes. So let's discard the five. five we have everything but a white dragon and a red dragon for the year hand with dragons. If we can get that, we could maybe make five that dragons. hand work. We're two away. There's a nine. Let's get rid of the three. So we're still three in nine. between two, four, six, eight on the bottom and then a year hand on top. And so let's see. I kind of want to put, we're playing against a robot, so it really doesn't matter if you have your tiles all mixed up like this. Um, two, four, six, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. I'm thinking two, four, six, eight might be better seven than dots. seven, six, seven, eight, nine. We have, we have two multiples versus only one multiple. 
but the two four are mm, not quite the right multiple. So this is going to be a challenge to get this second hand. But I do like the idea of a two four six eight hand. So let's put the nines up here and just kind of break this out a little bit. There's a two dot. Let's go ahead and give up the odds now and focus on two, four, six, eight. We'll give up all the odd tiles at this point. So we have two, four, six, eight on the bottom, our year hand on top. We need a red dragon. Sound wind. And then we can Kong. We still need a white dragon, and we do not know where that is. So this is going to be a risk with the bot, because they could have the white dragons for all we know. And if they're holding them in their initially dealt tiles, we may never get them, because the game will be discarding whatever tile they pick as opposed to going through randomly in their dealt tiles. So it'll be interesting to test this theory out and see in the end what tiles they've been holding. So there's a keeper, four bam, Nine two characters. four. We have two four and two four. There's a little gnat flying around. It's driving me nuts. That gnat two is bam. driving me nuts. Okay, I don't think I would call that for a an exposure i don't know what i'm playing yet and incidentally robots no, will not make not. any exposures so there's no use for joker bait in this game playing against a robot playing against a real player there will be though nine characters so we have oh we got a joker okay so let's Seven see bamboos. we could use that here kong the dragons and maybe be ready to win on a white dragon but who knows where it is that is the mystery six bamboos we got a keeper with the six maybe two Seven four bamboos. six eight sorry about the gnat I'm gonna slap that thing. Okay. Five characters. Okay, three crack. No. Three characters. We just need these dragons, and I'm just concerned that they could be in the robot's hands. You never know. At least we can use jokers for the dragons oh my gosh <laughs> six dots okay we got a two crack let's get rid of the nines before we decide Nine on what bamboos. to do down here two four six eight two four six eight and two suits there is a pair hand but we'd have to throw away these pairs we Where's have Pass on that. We got another two. Nine bamboo. Let's see here. We do have lots of twos. I'm wondering if we could play like numbers with twos with all these dragons and switch our hand to like numbers with twos. Okay. Like numbers Three with dots. twos, but what would we do with the rest? We could do like numbers with twos concealed and then like numbers with fours. There's one four crack East out. Right. East. Let's get rid East of the wind. eight. The, the like numbers with twos is a concealed hand. We would have to throw away one of the dragons. So. Eight dots. Okay, we'll pass on that. Three bam. Let's keep that for consecutive potential. But I still would like to do a two, four, six, eight hand. Two, four, six, eight in one suit, maybe. We let the two bam go. There are two out now. The other thing I want to know is where are the jokers? Are Where's they definitely? in the the hand? There's a four crack. Okay, I think we Three should bamboos. switch. 
to like numbers with twos and fours. So we're going to do some fancy footwork here. One dot. Okay, let's try to get this going. We don't need a seven crack. Seven characters. Two, dragon, dragon. Okay, we have too many tiles down here. That's why it's complaining. We're going to put the fours up top. Okay. Six characters. All right. Let's let the game catch up to us here. Pass on that. Okay, now. West wind. So we have twos. We're one away from ready on the concealed Five, hand. There's a six in a different suit. Okay, two, two, two. All right. So we need a red dragon or a two dot to be ready to win on the dragon hand there. Then we have like numbers with fours or two, four, six, eight. One dot. We really don't need this dragon. Okay, let's see how this works out. I think we could get rid of the six and the eight. Three bamboos. Okay, there is a joker. Six characters. So we could be ready to win on that hand. And if you'll notice, no dragons have gone down. Nine dots. West, no. West wind. This eight crack can go. And we could maybe use the joker for fours. There's only one, one four crack out. North so wind. let's see how this goes. We could still maybe play, no, there are two two bams out. That's why I have the two bam and the green dragon as the pairs. This would be the Six like three. number hand with dragons. We did finally get that um, dragon. Eight characters. Okay, so now let's see. Let's see if we can make the dragon hand work now and go back. Two dots. I was concerned, oops. I was concerned that we'll pass. Two, four, six, eight. Five characters. Dragons up here. There's the year. Oops. Seven bamboos. Okay, one crack we don't need. So this hand, let's see, two, let's give up the one crack. One character. What I'm concerned about is the dragons, they have not gone down at all. Eight characters. Okay, now we need to, let's get rid of the three. We could still maybe three make dots. like numbers with twos or the year, either one. The thing about like numbers with twos though, is that that is a 30 point White hand. Dragon. No, we're good on that. That's the first Seven dragon dots. out. So we have two, four, six, eight. We have twos and a four like numbers with twos and like numbers with fours. There is another white dragon. Let's give up the eight. eight I'm just fingers. kind of thinking that we should go back to like numbers with fours and like numbers with twos. Five dots. So we'll get rid of the one nine. You've got to be flexible with this game because you have so many tiles to work with that you can almost make One anything character. work. So if you, this game really makes you think fast 
and utilize the tiles to your best ability. And sometimes that means going back and forth. So because I think that the bot is holding dragons and jokers, I'm thinking, oops, okay, we're going to pass. So Nine we dots. have pairs. Here is our, okay, now we have either the bams or cracks for a winning hand for the like numbers with twos and dragons for a 30 point Lord hand. Character. And then here we have like numbers with fours. Nine. We're really light in the four crack, which is one reason why I was hesitant to initially break up the year hand, but now it's building up a little bit. Six. There's a green dragon. <laughs> now that we gave up the year hand, we don't need a pung of green dragons. All right, so we're in between. Eight dots. I wonder if we could make, oh, okay, let's see, six bam. Six bamboos. We're three away from a double mahjong here. Ready on a two crack or a two bam for the this hand. Plum. Now we could use a joker down Nine here and here. declare a win, or we could up here they're holding all those fours, I think. White dragon. Okay, we're gonna pass. Five we have two pass. more picks and I have three discards. So really I need to declare a win down here probably so I could win the game. Five bamboos. We have one more pick still. Eight characters. Five characters. Okay, so we'll put that up there. We'll put this down here, and we should have a Mahjong. So we have one Mahjong, and then we'll discard the three dot. And now let's look and see what the robot three has. Dots. So let's go see. Look at all their jokers. So we won the game because we have the only winning hand, which is what is going to happen when you play against a robot. But look here, they had all these jokers. They did have a pair of dragons. They have a pair of nine bams and a pair of north winds. So there's no logic, no strategy, but they will hold their initially dealt tiles. And in this case, it included all these jokers. So when you play against a robot, don't count on joker bait and getting any interaction with exposures from the robot. You've got to build your hand based on the tiles you are dealt, the tiles that you draw, and the tiles that are discarded. It is a different challenge when you play against a robot. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next strategy theory for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers. Sorry about the gnat. <laughs>